Hello everyone. Today we're reading Magic Treehouse, Dinosaurs Before Dark, a book by Mary Pope Osborne. Chapter 1. Into the Woods. Help! A monster! said Annie. Yeah, sure, said Jack. A real monster in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Run, Jack, said Annie. She ran up the road. Oh, brother, thought Jack. This is what he got for spending time with his seven-year-old sister. Annie loved pretend stuff, but Jack was eight and a half. He liked real things. Watch out, Jack. The monster's coming, said Annie. Jack didn't say anything. Come on, Jack, I'll race you, said Annie. No thanks, said Jack. Annie raced alone into the woods. Jack looked at the sky. The sun was about to set. Come on, Annie, it's time to go home, yelled Jack. But Annie didn't answer. Jack waited. Annie, he called again. Jack, Jack, Annie shouted. Come here, quick. Jack groaned. Oh. This better be good, he said. Jack left the road and headed into the woods. The trees were lit with a golden late afternoon light. Over here, called Annie. Annie was standing under a tall oak tree. Look, she said. She pointed at a rope ladder. It was hanging down from high in the tree. Wow, Jack whispered. At the top of the tree was a treehouse tucked between two branches. That must be the highest treehouse in the world, said Annie. Who built it? asked Jack. I've never seen it before. I don't know, but I'm going up, said Annie. No, we don't know who it belongs to, said Jack. Just for a teeny minute, said Annie. She started up the ladder. Annie, come back, said Jack. But Annie kept climbing. She climbed all the way up to the tallest branches. Annie climbed all the way up the rope ladder into the treehouse. Jack sighed. Oh, Annie, it's almost dark. We have to go home. Annie disappeared inside the treehouse. Annie, Jack called. Jack waited a moment. He was about to call again when Annie poked her head out of the treehouse window. Books, Annie shouted. What? Jack said. It's filled with books, said Annie. Oh man, Jack thought. He loved books. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He gripped the side of the rope ladder and started up. Chapter 2 the monster. Jack crawled into the treehouse. Wow, he said. The treehouse was filled with books. Books were everywhere. Very old books with dusty covers and new books with shiny bright covers. Look, said Annie, you can see far away. She was peering out the treehouse window. Jack looked out the window with her. Below were the tops of the other trees. In the distance, he could see the Frog Creek Library and the elementary school at the park. Annie pointed in the other direction. There's our house, she said. Annie was right. Jack could see their white wooden house with its green porch. In the yard next door was their neighbor's black dog, Henry. He looked very tiny. Hi, Henry, shouted Annie. Shush, we're not supposed to be up here, said Jack. Jack glanced around the treehouse again. He noticed that bookmarks were sticking out of many of the books. I wonder who owns all these books, he said. I like this one, said Annie. She picked up a book with a castle on the cover. Here's a book about Pennsylvania, said Jack. He turned to the page with the bookmark. Hey, here's a picture of Frog Creek, said Jack. It's a picture of these woods. Oh, here's a book for you, said Annie. She held up the book about dinosaurs. A blue silk bookmark was sticking out of it. Let me see, said Jack. 
He set his backpack down on the floor and grabbed the book from Annie. Okay, you look at that one, and I'll look at the one about castles, said Annie. No, we'd better not, said Jack. We don't know who these books belong to. But even as he said this, Jack was opening the dinosaur book to the place where the bookmark was. He couldn't help himself. Jack turned to a picture of an ancient flying reptile. He recognized it as a pterodon. Sorry, a pteranodon. He touched the huge bat-like wings in the picture. A pteranodon. Wow, whispered Jack. I wish we could go to the time of the pteranodons. Jack studied the picture of the odd-looking creature soaring through the sky. Ah, screamed Annie. What, said Jack. A monster, Annie cried. She pointed out the treehouse window. Stop pretending, Annie, said Jack. No, really, said Annie. Jack looked out the window. A giant creature was gliding above the treetops. It had a long, weird crest on the back of its head, a skinny beak, and huge bat-like wings. It was a real live pteranodon. The creature swooped through the sky. It looked like a glider plane. It was coming straight towards the treehouse. Get down, cried Annie. Jack and Andy crouched on the floor. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Okay, and that's the first two chapters of Magic Treehouse, Dinosaurs Before Dark. I'll be reading the rest of the book, and I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time.